Good morning and welcome to day five. Sunday's passage in John 10 concluded by informing us of the differing ways people responded to Jesus' claims. I am the door for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know the Father and the Father knows me. The Father loves me. My charge I received from my Father. Well, such claims were foreign to them. No one talked about Yahweh like that, but Jesus did. So how did people respond? How was grace working? Well, verse 19 and 20, there was again a division among the Jews because of these words. Many of them said, he has a demon and is insane. Why listen to him? Let's consider those. Response one, he has a demon. That's the only logical explanation for him claiming to be the son of God. That's blasphemous. And we know it's the devil and his followers who blaspheme God, so he must have a demon. Response two, he's insane. Uh, to say that he's the way to get to God, the way to heaven, he's the doorway. How could anyone have such a lofty view of themselves? He's crazy. Response three, no one should listen to him. Don't give him the chance to deceive you or mislead you. Listen to the Pharisees, not Jesus. However, verse 21, others said, these are not the words of one who is oppressed by a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? Well, say what you want, but Jesus did what only God is capable of doing. Even if he isn't God, God has to be with him, showing him favor because God is doing miracles through his words and ways. I mean, only God could open the eyes of a man born blind. You have to give him some legitimacy. At the least, keep listening because he will either ruin his credibility or prove it in some way. Well, little did they understand that he was informing them of what he would do soon to fulfill his mission as the Messiah and save the people from their sins. Christ would die on the cross and pay the full penalty for sin he would be buried to confirm his death. He would be raised on the third day to confirm God's favor upon him and acceptance of his sacrifice. He would reveal himself resurrected to hundreds of different people in differing places over 40 days. And then he would ascend into heaven with the promise that one day he would return to judge the living and the dead. He commissioned his people, his church, his bride, to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them, teaching them to obey everything he said. And he assured his people that he would be with them, with us, always, to the very end of the age, and then for all eternity. It's good news, and it's been revealed to us. And like the healed blind man, we confess, Lord, I believe, and we worship Jesus today. Believe him and serve him well. God bless you. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for watching over us and blessing us. Thank you for being loving and kind, so gracious and merciful. We love you, Lord. And now offer your prayers. God bless you.